I'll be talking on the essential and non-essential members in a startup company. How do their work permit and PR applications go? And what impact would a refusal on a work permit or a permanent resident application have on the other co-founders in a, in a common uh, startup company? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sajad Malik. I'm a barrister and solicitor, a business and immigration lawyer in Ontario, Canada, and I'm speaking to you from my office in Oakville, Ontario. Today, I'll be speaking to you as a part of my startup information sessions. I'll be talking on the essential and non-essential members in a startup company. How do their work permit and PR applications go and what impact would a refusal on a work permit or a permanent resident application have on the other co-founders in a, in a common uh, startup company. Now, startup visas, as you know, they are for the entrepreneur who have innovative business ideas. They have a qualifying business in Canada. They're able to uh, secure the support from a Canadian designated organization in the form of letter support or commitment certificate. They have enough settlement funds for the initial year in Canada, and they are able to demonstrate that they are proficient in either English or French and they're able to come to Canada, establish their business, work towards their startup company, and so successfully launch their business. Now, in a startup company, there could be up to five uh, founders or co-founders. There could be a couple of people, three, four, and up to five. And these people should ideally have diverse skill sets. So when they start launch their company in Canada, when they're launching their operations in Canada, they are self-sufficient in at least some of the core functions which their own founders could perform, including marketing, finance, technology, some kind of business development, and outreach. Now, when these founders come together, discuss their idea, they must think very seriously that out of these members, who will be considered, who will be the essential members of the company? And when they pitch their ideas to the uh, designated organization, they have to make sure that those people are declared as essential members of the company who are actually committed in coming to Canada and helping develop that business and actually work inside Canada on their operation to develop that business. So if they are essential members, they could also apply for a work permit and come to Canada while the PR application is being processed. They are allowed to bring in their spouses and their children on dependent visas, including open work permit for spouses and study permit applications or study permits for their dependent children who are going to or who will be going to the schools. Now, those of the designated members, those of the members who are designated as essential members, they are also able to work, uh, as we have discussed, they are also able to apply for work permit. Now, if there are three founders and all of them are essential in a company and they all of them apply for a work permit and one gets denied that won't impact the work permit applications of the other founders because work permit is a temporary resident visa and the officers uh, under a different under different regulations of the act would look at the eligibility of per, that person to come in Canada as a temporary resident worker or as a worker a temporary resident uh, visa holder or a temporary worker or a work permit holder. Now, these people will have to demonstrate that they have strong purpose, they have strong ties back home, they are have a temporary intent, and if due to some reason they or after completing their work permit, if their PR application is not approved, they'll go back to their home countries and uh, not overstay in Canada. Now, uh, there are also considerations including inadmissibility uh, check as well, in which the immigration authorities do complete inadmissibility check, and if there are some reasons including medical or criminal or some other security concerns or human rights violation in those cases the work permits are denied but the good thing is if one is denied work permit uh, during the startup visa work permit processing the others are not affected the startup company is not affected and the applications the other work permit applications for other members would continue similarly if one is denied a work permit that person's that particular person's PR application would also not be impacted because if it is he's denied or she's denied based on some uh, the t intent matter then permanent residence application needs permanent intent and it may not be denied but if that person has some other serious concerns including inadmissibility or other matters then 
then if he has been refused a temporary work permit the officer may look at those factors while determining the permanent residence applications and inadmissibility matters or concerns could lead to an effect of negative effect on the permanent residence applications similarly if the essential members one of the essential member is denied the PR application or approval for the PR application it will impact other essential members as well so if you are one of the essential members with some deep concerns regarding your inadmissibility or some other matters or if you intend not to be actively engaged in the business and down the line it appears that your your PR application may be denied it is not a good idea to remain an essential member it is better to apply as a non-essential member so if you withdraw or if there's a negative decision against you in your PR application it does not affect the other essential members so this startup ship in which all of the members all of the founders are riding together so impact on one person's PR application will adversely affect the PR applications of the other people so when as friends as co-founders you're sitting together and you are in the initial planning process of uh, launching or pitching your idea before a designated organization getting in touch with the lawyer consulting with the management consultants or your or the people whoever is holding your hand during the process come with the cards very clearly if you are somebody who is not intending to come to Canada to launch that visit don't apply for a work and don't be an essential member because in that case if you are determined not to have actively engaged in the business your application is denied it will not only impact your business plans but it'll also sink whole of the board so if you have any concerns if you wish to discuss your specific situation with us if you want me to have a look at your innovative business idea to discuss your management team to discuss how do you want to proceed who will be essential or non-essential member what is the complete process I am a business and immigration lawyer I may be able to help you through my team or through my independent consultants in the PR in not only the process with application process with the designated organization but also with the business side of it and immigration side of it so my information is displayed in this video at the end of it or elsewhere and you are requested to get in touch and if you want to have a specific consultation with me I would be happy to schedule one anytime soon thank you very much and have a good day